But it's good fun because I have I I move I, much slower than I have to, and I, I try to get in front of like Fabian Frankel if we're having to leave a scene, so that he gets annoyed and he can't get around me, and I can sort of slow him down. So hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, nice hi again. Hi <laughs> again. Nice to see you again without your tiny mic. Yeah. yeah. And I listened to the audio afterwards. You mm -hmm. sounded perfect. Yeah, very well. Thanks. I've got a tiny mic. I'm very yeah. happy. <laughs> Let's hope they hear you. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you, tiny mic. I had your tiny mic to thank for that. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how have you uh, experienced the junket so far? Has it been good for you? Yeah, it's been great. Meeting lots of nice people. Um, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. I feel like a, a slightly um, I'm on uh, my head's a bit all over the place because I'm sort of came in from New York just now, but it's all yeah, it's and, all good. And I heard London is uh, London next. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a globe trotting adventure. It's all good. Exactly. Yeah. And your character, uh, mm. we spoke briefly about this yesterday. That uh, I kind of feel like his influence is growing very much this season, mm. and he kind of have the the king's ear. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so would you agree that Lord Varys is playing the long game uh, very well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a great way to put it. The long game. I think he's been, yeah, he's been playing it for since episode three when Aegon was a baby. That's when he sort of first made his move on Alicent. Yeah. You know, I think he's had, he's had a sense that at some point there's going to be uh, at the some point is yeah, yeah, and it's going, you're going to have to pick a side. And he thinks that's the side that the realm will accept. Um, so no, he's a, a smart guy. He sort of saw what was going on and was like, "I'm going to get on the the winning team here." Yeah. Uh, on the page, do you get any like how your character is supposed to think, or mm -hmm. uh, because it, it feels like it, it would benefit you to know what is coming? Uh, right. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it is interesting because he is a sort of an enigmatic person, and his lines aren't always exactly what what he, he doesn't say exactly what he means. That, that's I mean, what I mean. Yeah. Olivia was sort of talking about that. We were going in our scenes together neither of us are actually saying what we mean. Yeah. There's always a sort of different meaning to it. Um, it is useful. I mean, we have the scripts all ahead, so you can sort of obviously know yeah. which way it's going. Um, but um, so that is useful. Because like you say, he doesn't say an awful lot. So it's good to sort of um, have the li This sounds ridiculous, but have the lines that he's not saying. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, the stuff that, that's, going that's on, what I'm fishing for. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> stuff that's going on between the lines and yeah. underneath the lines and in the silences is actually more informative for me anyway than actually yeah. sometimes the line itself. Do you get any of that or do you have to make that up? I make that up. Well, yeah, I mean, when you make that up, you sort of talk about it with the writers and directors. Yeah. You know, it's all sort of subtext, isn't it? And you go, yeah. well, what's actually happening here is not exactly what it means on the line. But that's the collaborative thing with the creatives, yeah. Yeah, creating this show, there's like a lot of tennis balls and stuff for a lot, lot of the, the characters. But for your character, I, I kind of feel like he, he exists within uh, the world that is built up uh, more. Uh, so, so is it that uh, you see a lot more uh, when you see the finished products or does the show that you record kind of feel like the thing that you see on, oh, on the Oh, the tennis telly? balls that are yeah. dragon. Yeah. Because oh, right, you heard the, about them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had a few experiences that the, there's a man with a long pole, in case nobody knows what you're talking about, a man with a long pole yeah. with a tennis ball is a dragon. Yeah. So that's what we're staring at when we're acting our hearts out about being scared of a dragon. It's actually a man with a tennis ball. There are a few moments like that, and that's always exciting to see the geniuses in the in the effects department how they create that. For 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 me, for Laris, uh, a, a lot of my scenes are the sort of the the um, the secretive sort of pol political side, yeah. and that's pretty much just what the the set is. There's not much sort of special effects, I don't think, in my bed. But you do get to see the the finished work of extraordinary technicians with the extraordinary lighting team of the camera department and the the effects and set designing all come together yeah. um so you do get to see that um and that's that's always a thrill it always looks sort of way more magic than it does in real life yeah and, and your character like his his nickname is clubfoot right <laughs> so yeah not very imaginative is it? <laughs> no <laughs> uh, but uh, how how is it to actually walk uh, around like that because i can see that you don't have that uh, kind I don't. of no no um it's uh it's 
it, it's interesting, you know, that was a lot of uh, experimenting and, and seeing what is the most pr the most effective, but also the most practical, because I've got to walk around like that. Yeah, for, you walk and talk a lot. Yeah, also. walk and talk and, um, and keeping it consistent. Um, and it does just screw my hip up a, a, a little bit, so I sort of try to modify it. But it's good fun because I have I I move I, much slower than I have to, and I, I try to get in front of like Fabian Frankel if we're having to leave a scene, so that he gets annoyed and he can't get around me, and I can sort of slow him down. So it's quite good annoying him. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's good. It's just uh, it's play. It's fun. Yeah. And uh, I'm so happy that you had time to speak with me again today. Oh, and yeah. and uh, I do hope that we get to speak again uh, on the third season. That would be great. Another yeah. tiny mic thing. Yeah. I shall look out. Of course. E even smaller. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make that happen. Yeah, just to the point where it could just be like that. It'd be yeah. really good. It's lovely to see you again. Right back at you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>